Yes, okay. Perfect distance. So uh, no, actually, it, it is not necessary, Emiliano. It is not necessary uh, to change your name. Uh, actually, the, the, the setting of the session uh, tells me that you cannot change your name. Okay, it's okay like that. Uh, <clears throat> guys, you are looking... You are looking at uh, two pictures, right? They seem to be the same, but they are not the same. What you have to do is to find out some uh, differences. Okay, first of all, analyze it, and then in the chat, write me or type me some differences. In the chat, please. In the chat. Come on, tell me. You got one or two minutes to analyze this, uh, this picture. <clears throat> okay, let us see. The door. The door. One window in the door. Okay. Yeah, there is like something stick now on the door. Uh huh. The window too. Yes. Above, right? Mm hmm. What else? The grass in the left, on the door. And the grass of the, in the left of the door. What, what, what does it have? Let me check. Um. No, it looks the same, no? The grass looks exactly the same. Tell me more. Uh, in the grass near the door, the bricks on the right. Aha, the bricks on the right, exactly. Over here, right, on the wall. In the first picture they are, in the second they are not. Yes, uncle, the profe. Uh, what profe is the difference? Ah, okay, you don't, you don't listen. Let me check. Uh, Emiliano Zarate, do you listen to me? Uh, Emiliano Zarate, do you listen to me? Ah, okay. Uh, I guess Clemente... Let me type you. Mm -hmm. In a moment I continue reading eh? the chat. Okay. Okay, okay. No more? No more differences, students? Okay, let us check. The the ear from Homer, yeah, the bricks are correct. The ear from Homer, yeah, the ear from Homer, very good. Yeah, it has like a line in the middle and the other one doesn't, okay? The window next to, the, next to March, the window next to March, mm, no, not really, no, not really. The bricks, yes, Megan, sorry, the bricks are okay. Okay, guys, it is not difficult, but we have to be very observant, right? We have to be very observant uh, so that we can uh, find out the differences. I have a second picture to continue with this activity. Let us analyze it. It seems to be more difficult. This is. It says find out eight differences. Eight. Exactly eight. Come on. Help me in the chat. Mm -hmm. I guess you are analyzing. Emiliano said this is a chicken. The chicken. What has the chicken? Be specific, guys. Can you please uh, type specifically what difference is there? Don't tell me just the chicken or, or the tree. No, tell me the chicken uh, doesn't appear or the chicken has a different wind. Things like that. Ok, 
Ok. Ok, I don't read any chat, eh? Ok. It says... There is a ship missing, yes, in the second picture, right? In the picture below. The tree... One apple in the tree. One, ah, one apple in the tree. The grass on the cow's mouth. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, there is a cow uh, chewing, no? The, the grass, like... And the other one doesn't appear like that. Uh, the grass in the mouth of the cow is missing an apple in a tree. Yes, correct. The sheep doesn't appear in the second one. The two chickens uh, don't appear. Uh -huh. The cow in the second image is not eating grass. Correct. The chicken doesn't appear in the second image. The brown cow is just in the first image. The grass that is uh, eating the roof, the roof, the grass, no? Ok, let's see, claramente enter again. Ajá, only that sense. There is a tree missing. Yes, in the second one, because in the first, uh, there, is, there are three, right? In the second one, there are four. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, very good. Excellent, Lisandro. Excellent, Diego. You are uh, using arrows to indicate the differences. Exactly. Very good. There is a ball missing. Uh huh. Uh, in here. <coughs> in a ball missing. Really, I don't find it out. Uh, no, I don't think so. I guess the difference is the goat. No? In the first picture it appears to the to my left and in the second one it appears to the right. Do you see the difference from the goat? Uh-huh. Ah, but that is a cow, not a bull. Okay. The sheep who was missing. Okay, very good. Guys, this is just an activity not to have fun only well this is an activity that one prepares us for for today's class okay for today's class uh, and i will explain in a, in a later moment why it uh, prepares us for today's class L let me check because i'm okay i guess some students are having problems to enter I, I guess all of them are here. Okay, perfect, students. So you have to analyze, be analyzing, an, an observant student, and, and this is part of the class from today. Students in the chat, I, I want to make a question, and the question is: uh, What the recent activities you did uh, this morning? Tell me at least three of them, three of them. For example, you can say, I took a shower, I uh, ate my breakfast, I just woke up, things like that. Please tell me, someone. Uh, Castellan tried to use the correct grammar, it is drunk. No, if we are talking about the past, actually the morning, the morning was the past, okay? I drank. Uh huh. Correct, Castellan. Only Castellan. <clears throat> drank. Uh huh. Nobody else. I woke up. Mm hmm. What else? You didn't brush your teeth, guys. You didn't take a shower. You didn't greet your your family. You woke up, uh, Emiliano Sarate says, I dressed up, I entered to the class. My friends, the, the, the past verbs. Wa I washed my teeth, I ate, I took a shower. Come on, Mariana, 
You don't have a list of verbs. <laughs> okay, let me see what Emma Stefania says. I just woke up. Aha, uh -huh. I brushed my teeth. I brushed my teeth, my hair. I dressed up. I entered in my class of English. Okay. Um, <clears throat> very good, Emma. Gracie, it is I did. I took. I did. Come on, Gracie. Alejandro Garfia says, I brushed, I got, come on, Alejandro, in past, my friend, because we are talking in past. Mm -hmm. You woke up, forgot, you forgot to take a breakfast. Okay, well, uh, that's difficult to forget, especially if you are starving now. In the morning, guys, you cannot imagine I would eat an elephant. I woke up. Ángel Clemente, not wake up. We are talking in past, my friend. Uh, Jose Daniel, I woke up and I brushed my teeth. I took my breakfast. Okay. Very, very good. Okay, guys. So, many have already participated. But I want to ask. There are some activities. Listen to me. Eh? Okay. Thank you, Yamilet. There are some activities, students, that started in the past, and what happened? They finished, right? They started in the past, but they finished. For example, you brushed your teeth. You continue brushing your teeth? It's a question. Move your head, or give me a no in the chat. Or you can talk on the microphone. For example, other example, you uh, took a shower. Do you continue taking a shower now? No, right? Uh huh. Exactly. Thank you, Alejandro. No, they started in the past and they finished. Just finished. But there are other activities, students, that started in the past and they continue in the very present uh -huh. tell me one of the activities other classmates mentioned that continue in the present that they started in the past but continue in the present tell me someone <clears throat> someone in the chat please brief <laughs> Okay, well, could be. What about entered in the session of today? They entered, how many minutes ago? 16 minutes ago, they entered in the session of today and they continue taking the session. Exactly. Very good. Other, other activity? They woke up and they are still awake. Mm-hmm. Correct. Exactly. They ate. Mm. But they, they don't continue eating. Do they continue eating? They were born. <laughs> okay. The quarantine. <laughs> yeah, they started the quarantine and, and they continue in the quarantine, right? Okay. Yes, exactly, students. That is what, what I wanted you to express. When we start an activity, guys, and it just finished, uh -huh, or it finished simply, we can say that is simple past. But when we start an activity in the past, students, and it continues in the very present, it is considered to be observed. Present, present, perfect. And that is a part of the class that we studied a class ago, right? The last uh, Wednesday, I guess we studied the present perfect, right? But uh, we are going to have a difference today. A difference today. Mm -hmm. We are going to make use of the word just. And to explain that, students, I will... <clears throat> I will cancel my camera 
you will not see me for a while, probably for a, for a second. And the game of today is to complete the following phrase. Observe. You have to complete. You have just... Uh -huh. You have to complete that phrase in the chat or you can uh, talk on the microphone. Let me activate the microphone, students. Okay, now you can open it on your own. Wait a minute, wait a minute. L let me explain a little bit. Let me explain a little bit more about the activity, okay? Okay, wait for me. The activity is I will uh, cancel my camera for a moment and something in my room will change. Something in my room will change. And you have to tell me what is changing, okay? Probably uh, uh, the, the way I am dressing or probably something in the decoration of my room. Something is going to change and you have to tell me what that is. Okie dokie. But you have to make use of the phrase that I am lining up in the screen right away. Are you ready? Okay, you will have two chances. Only two chances. Here we go. Take it easy, students. <clears throat> Are you ready? Okay, I listen to you. Uh, what do you think changed it? You have to complete the sentence. The one is, you have just... Somebody? Okay, opened, opened your book. Very good. Something else? Only that? That is the only difference in my room? Let me see if I have messages in the chat. I don't think so. You can make use of the chat. You have only... <laughs> no, that, that is incorrect. Uh, Marianne, you have just graphed the book. Yes, correct, Marianne. Only that? No, in that case, uh, Uncle Clement, uh, no, Uncle Leonardo, it is you have just put some markers on the board. Exactly. And they are the only two differences. No? I have just put some markers on my board and I have just grabbed a book. Okay? So you will have a second chance, students. A second chance. Let me close my camera. Just uh, remember something. I will give you a, a tip. Uh, in the present perfect, we are using uh, past participle. Past participle verbs, students. Okay? For example, uh, you have just put some markers on the board. You have just graphed a book. Okay? The second chance. Please don't get desperate, be patient. Something is gonna change in my in my room. <clears throat> be patient. Be patient. Thank you. Probably more differences will, will appear this time. Excellent. Okay, I am moving some things okay i am ready students do you see any difference now in my room okay tell me you just have or you have just right or written right are uh, written no uh-huh Welcome on the board, right? Uh, I have just moved the red marker. Yes, correct. Only that. Aha, <clears throat> uh -huh. I have just changed my, uh, my earphones. So somebody wrote on the chat. Emilio said, 
You just have changed your clothes. Well, not changed my clothes. I just removed something from me. The sweater, exactly, very good. They are the three differences, right? Well, I have just written something on the board. I have uh, changed my earphones. I have just removed my sweater. And well, as a fourth, I have just moved the red marker, students, okay? Exactly, that is present perfect, students. Aha, uh -huh. I just explained it to you by using a game. Mm -hmm. Observe, now I will write the complete, the complete phrase of it. Attention, you can say, teacher, you have just removed, let me close that microphone, uh -huh. have just removed your sweater, right? Sweater. Okay, okay. As you can see, students, I am making use of two things as I explained in the last class. I am using a past participle verb, which is in this case, attention, Clemente, which is in this case removed. Mm -hmm. That is the past participle verb. And I am using a kind of modal auxiliary, which is have. Right? In this case, have is not a verb. It is not, I have this book, I have that. No, it's just an auxiliary uh, uh, verb to talk in the present perfect. And one extra thing is just. Just, the students, indicates that I am doing it at the very moment, no? Or recently, I did it. Probably a minute ago, a second ago, or 10 minutes ago. It's very recent. Okay, I will write a second example. I will write a second example and then you will participate. Okay, okay. Uh, let me delete it. We are learning through games today. Check it out. Teacher, you have just uh, just other earphones. Clemente, question. Question for you, Clemente. What is the past participle verb in this sentence? Used. Very good. Uh -huh. And we have one more time the auxiliary verb. Thank you very much, which is have. And remember, just indicates it is recent. It is not from a long time ago. It is not whew, years ago. No, it is recent. It, it just happened. Okie dokie. Okay, let us, let us make someone participate. And we are going to use exactly the same, the same, the same phrase. Let me stop sharing. Who would like to participate? Tell me. I, I will not choose any victim. I will let somebody say, teacher, I want to participate. Luis Alejandro is like very active today, no? Emma, Emma Islas, as always, Emma Islas. Emma Islas, you have to change, you have to change something in your room or in you, and we have to tell you what you have just changed. Are you ready, Islas? Okay. Please, you can cancel your camera, take a minute, no, no, not a minute, a second or three seconds to change something in your room. Okay, let's wait for Emma. Well, Emma is getting ready. Somebody else wants to participate after Emma. We are going to have only three participants today. Somebody? Someone? No, nobody? Alejandro? Are you ready, Emma? Okay, okay. No, nobody? Oh, come on. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, Emma Islas is ready, guys. We have to tell Emma what she 
has just changed it. I, I don't see Emma. Where are you, Emma? Did you activate your camera? Ah, yes. Now I can see Emma. Um, guys, please tell Emma your microphone is opened. A teddy bear, he said. Only that? Castellan. Yes, Emma? Okay, very good. An applause for Emma, please. An applause, guys. Thank you. Excellent. Somebody else would like to participate? Please give me a thumbs up or raise your hand. Whatever. Nobody? Oh my God. I will have to choose it. If you don't dare to participate, I will have to choose it. Why not you, um, who, who, uh, Lisandro Said Leti? Can you help us? Did you observe Lisandro, guys? Did you observe Lisandro? Okay, late, 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 like that. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. Okay, did you observe Lisandro? Now, Lisandro, I want you to cancel your camera. <laughs> I want you to cancel your camera and I want you to change something in your room very fast, Lisandro. Okay, now Lisandro has his camera off. We are waiting for him. Did you observe he was wearing a, a pyjama? A pyjama. Uh, he was having like three chairs in his room. Uh -huh. His background was like green, oh, if you remember. Now we are going to see what changes he has just made. Ready, Lisandro? Oh, Lisandro went out. Okay, activate it, please. Students. <laughs> please, guys, somebody. You just have, or you have just. Yes, yes, Lisandro. Is that the only difference, students? Mm. Well, that, that is a hoop, no? You have just put the hoop. Yes, Lisandro, only that? Only two differences? There is other? Is there other? Really? Oh my god. Uh, I like, like a like a necklace. Uh, what is that? I had like a charger. No? Mm. Wire. Yes, okay, very good. An applause for Lisandro students, an applause, very good. Thank you, thank you very much for participating. Thank you, Miss uh, Miss Nayeli. Okay, guys, so we are, we are going to share with you as a suggested activity. Check it out, eh? This is not something mandatorily these are just suggested activities so that you can practice on present perfect. Uh, to page 130, no, sorry, page 103 uh -huh, in your learning book, we, we have the language key that one says, we use just with the present perfect to talk about things that happened a short time ago. Mm -hmm. Not a long time ago, a short time ago. Example, he has just gone to the bathroom. 
Can you call again later? Yes, he has just gone to the bathroom. Now, when, when you receive a call and, and your father is not there, but he went to the restroom, you say, oh, you, you know what? He has just gone. Not go, not went. It is gone. Past participle. Gone to the bathroom. Can you call later, please? It continues saying, do you have your learning logs open to students? If you don't, please do it so that you can have the information handy. We use a yet to talk about things that haven't happened yet, mm -hmm. but which we are expecting to happen. It is only used in negative sentences. Observe. This is like not the contrary of just, but something just in negative. I haven't finished studying yet. Mm -hmm. Or I haven't participated yet. No? Jimena Jamilet hasn't participated yet. Mm -hmm. mm, Isabela, ah, it's an example, it's an example, Jimena. I, I knew you were gonna complain. I knew, I knew. Okay, we use already to talk about something that happened earlier than expected. And we have the example in the bottom. It says, they have finished the, the book already. Uh -huh. it, it, this is when something already happened, when it was done, certainly. The ending is amazing. Mm -hmm. And to practice on that, guys, we can go through the activity number five. Your microphones are opened or you can, use, you can make use of the chat so that you can participate. Are you ready? Read the language key and complete the sentences with just, already, or yet. What do you think? In the number one, he has blah, 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 broken his arm, blah, blah, blah. Which one? Just, but it, but it has like two lines, no? It has two lines. Mm, mm, you cannot make use of two of them uh, in the same case. You can make use of one. Uh -uh. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Remember that we use yet. If you pretend to use yet, we, we can use it, but in negative forms or in negative sentences. Mm. It, it can be but we are not studying today. No, we, we, we don't have to, com com to complement or to complete the sentences with whatever word. It has to be the words that we are studying. I will help you with the number one. He has not, he has not broken his arm yet. Uh-huh. When we are using yet, we use negative ideas or we use it in negative ideas, okay? Yeah, it is yet. And in the first line, it is not because it has to be negative. The number, the number two. My sister has collected scarves, shoes, and blankets. Yes, my sister has already collected scarves, shoes, and blankets. Come on, I want the others to participate. Not only Emma for the immigrant kids. Oh my God, but there are two lines in here too, students. I guess in the instruction, it must say, you don't have to use all the lines, no, probably. If we don't use all the lines, we can better and easily com uh, complete it, right? My sister has already, and we are going to forget about the second line. The number three, the children have Just lined up at the entrance of the police station. Yes, could be. We are going to forget about the second line. Very good, Emiliano Zarate. I am reading your participation too. The number four. Those kids haven't. Now it is negative. 
Uh -huh. Yet seen their parents. Uh -huh. Those kids haven't yet seen their parents. Or you can put it in the end, no? Uh, avoiding the, the first line. Those kids haven't seen their parents yet. Uh -huh. Both are correct. We are not being that strict today. The immigrants have... Have what? Already eaten lunch. Okay. Or probably have not eaten lunch yet. No, That's why they are immigrants. Because they have no money. They have no place to live, etc. Right? Okay. It, something that I want you to consider, and which is too important within a present perfect students, is the use of the... Uh, past participle the past participle verbs yes broken collected lined up seen they are participle verbs students there are more activities within this page 103 the 6 and the 7 it is not mandatorily to send me anything today you know we are not receiving uh, works mandatorily on platform it is just in case you want to practice you can send it i can revise it and tell you if you are correct. But this is not uh, obligatory. This is not mandatorily. It is just a suggested activity, guys. Okay? Any questions about what present perfect is, students? I also suggest you to make use of your lists uh, during the school year.